Hello everybody and welcome back! My name is still Curse of, and it's been another little while. Um, hope you guys enjoyed H1Z1. It was fun to, uh, to play a dead game. I don't normally do that. Let me move my mouse out of the way, because that's bothering me. I'm sure it's bothering you. But um, as promised, I'm here with the very first series. Uh, not my original plan, but it's a series to promote the new channel. That will be getting started eventually. Either way, it is my Speed Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. It will be linked in the description below. And you guys can head on over if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! Also, if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! Please feel free to stay right here. And get into some Legacy of the Duelist with me. So I have played this game a little bit before. I have done some of the story uh, on a previous YouTube channel. As you can see, I do have some dollar dollars. But uh, yeah, how do I? Do I just click enter? Yes. So we don't need a tutorial or any of that jazz. We're gonna go ahead and head into the campaign. We have. The original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V. All available to play in this game. Um, I will, I guess, eventually do all of them. But obviously, to start off, our first series will be just the Yu-Gi-Oh! portion of it. Yu-Gi-Oh! DM. Not GX, not 5Ds, not Zexel, not Arc V. We save that stuff for later. Also, this series will be uploaded once a week. It will be uploaded every single Tuesday. So, get hyped for that. Game check will still be every single Friday. And hopefully, eventually, I'll have daily content over on the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. So make sure you guys please head on over to there. Because if you're watching this, you probably like Yu-Gi-Oh! You'll probably enjoy that. Speed Duel is pretty hype. Uh, I really enjoy it. I want to get a little competitive with it. I want to collect all the cards for it. Uh, I almost have all the cards. Missing some foils from the new set. But that's all you can do. Anyway. Let's get into this. So as you can see. I did do the first one, two, three, four fights. We're going to start fresh. Right from the very beginning. Um, yeah, and as for the reverse fights, I'll probably be doing these on stream after the fact of the series being done. And I will upload that as a little bonus episode. It could be however many hours long, and it'll just be a little bonus episode. You guys can go to town, watch it, enjoy it, and yeah. Anyway, why don't we... uh? Why don't we hop right on into this, now that I've been talking for four minutes. Loading Yu-Gi-Oh! Histories The story of Yu-Gi-Oh! Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yu-Gi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Duel Monsters to Joey, as their friends Taya and Tristan watch. Hey Joey! Earth to Joey! It's your turn! Um, Aw, isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey Tristan, Yugi here's teaching me how to play Duel Monsters! Drooling Monsters? Duel Monsters, you Nimrod! They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. I've mentioned this in all my previous recordings of this. That Those lines are taken directly out of the anime, directly out of the show, and it gets me so hyped every single time I read them, because it's actually directly from the damn fucking show. Ugh, I still will try to swear less, but like, that, that was necessary. This is the robot as part of a virtual game simulator. We don't really care about what he's saying, though, because we know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. But, for those of you who don't know, I will let us take us through the process. First, let's learn how to summon a monster. Monsters are summoned into the monster zone. Monsters can be summoned in attack position or set the monster in, defense, in the monster zone in defense position. 
A monster in attack position is placed vertically and a monster in defense position is placed horizontally and face down. Let's set a monster, the dragon dwelling in the cave, and set it to the field in defense position. Bada bing bada boom. Also, this is the old field. It doesn't look like the speed dual field at all or the current field that we have in the actual TCG, so yeah. Now let's open the phase menu and select end phase. Uh, so backspace and end phase. Okay. Okay, so I can do everything over uh, with my right hand. That's that's pretty sick. <coughs> you can summon the blazing Apache and dumbfoundedfully. That's not what I was trying to say. He attacks into our bigger booty monster. Congratulations, you survived your first attack. You might have noticed that Joey's attack attacked you and wound up hurting himself. Let me explain what happened. When a monster attacks a defense position monster, the attacker's attack value is compared to the defender's defense value. If the attacking monster has a lower value, the attacker's owner takes damage equal to the difference. If the attacking monster has a greater value, the defending monster is destroyed. Next, we will play a spell card in your spell and trap card zone. These cards are played in the spell and trap card zone. Next, we'll play a spell Whatever. Green spell cards can be played right away, but most can only be played on your main phase 1 or main phase 2. You can also set it to activate it at a later time. We're just going to go ahead and drop Banner of Courage. Pink trap cards can be activated on your turn and during your opponent's turn, but they must be set... But they, but you must set them face down in the field first. You cannot activate a trap card in the turn that it's set, uh, but you can activate it any time after at the start of your opponent's turn. Let's go ahead and set Call of the Haunted, which by the way is a super sick skill in speed duels. Uh, not one of the cards that I do not have. Sad reacts only. Press F in the comments. Um, yeah. <coughs> Now let's get ready to attack. Let's push the dragon dwelling in the cave to attack position. Now let's summon Inken Dog in attack position so we have another monster that can attack Joey. Gladly. Our attack is all set up. Let's push the battle phase and attack. <coughs> Blazing Apache. Attack Blazing Apache with your Ninken Dog. So we get a 200 attack point boost thanks to our banner of courage. And we'll attack for 1500 direct. Now, my only main quirk with the uh, speed duels is that I actually wish it started off slower, kind of like duelings did. But, alas, it did not. That's all you can do, I suppose. Ooh, rush recklessly. That's cute. Joey doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean his clock. Uh -huh. That's a very cute thing that he says. On this turn, we will summon another monster. Up to now, you have only summoned monsters level 4 or below. In order to summon a monster that is level 5 or 6, you must tribute one monster. Sending a monster on your side of the field to the graveyard to summon a higher level monster is called a tribute summon. Let's tribute summon Gra Gravy Crush Dragon now. This is actually a... He wants me to get rid of Ninken Dog. You dirtbag. This is actually a really good way to introduce someone into Yu-Gi-Oh, though. It's very, very easy to understand with this robot dude telling you what to do. Oh, if you've read the card description on the left, you can see that Gravity Crush Dragon has an effect. Let's do that now, and let's go ahead and read his effect before we do anything. You can send one face-up continuous spell card you control to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls and destroy that target. So now we can go ahead and pop our Banner of Courage to go ahead and pop this boy. Um, now let's chain the effect of Call of the Haunted to bring back Ninken Dog from the graveyard. Gladly. Return to me, my dog. Now let's chain Rock Rush Recklessly in your hand. Alright. We're going for that OTK. Uh, nah, we're gonna give it to our, our homeboy Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. He, he deserves it, he deserves it. Now we're ready to attack. Let's go ahead and uh, enter a battle phase. Let's game this boy! Joey's trash! Exact game! Get bodied! You win! Hell yeah, I do! 
What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. My grandpa owns a game shop, and I get all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us his super rare card he's got. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. There we go. Normally you get more rewards, but because I've done this so many times... Oh, wait, no. No. Yeah. This, this, this It still applies. still applies. Next. Next we have the Heart of the Cards. I really wish they had them in their actual like school uniforms like they were in the anime, but, you know, that's, that's one of my only quirks. <sighs> that afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? My special card? Hmm. Please, please. Ha ha, how could I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Ready? Here it is. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp, and he had found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. Oh, I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile old fool. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's game store, and the team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with the blue-eyes white dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor, defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa. How's the old man feeling, hmm? Kaiba, you sleaze! What have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all, with each of us putting up our most prized, valuable card as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. And look at the sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue-eyes white dragon and ripped it in half. Fuck. Grandpa's most treasured card. Yes, the blue-eyes white dragon is a rare and powerful card. And this one will never be used against me. My blue eyes. My treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh? Grandpa? I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards. And I taught you everything I know, Yugi. Take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa. I'll do it. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime Play is, is over, over Kaiba. Kaiba. Yu -Gi -Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! Uh, what the? Now, Kaiba. Prepare yourself, because it's time to duel! Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Kaiba, prepare yourself, because it's time to duel! And we don't fuck with the user deck shit. We go in story deck. Synchros, get, get that out of here. Ooh, Kaiba's definitely a scissors kind of guy. No, he's definitely a paper kind of guy, because he got money. 
No, no, no. What am I thinking? What? Why are you a rock kind of guy, man? You're gonna go second? Okay, okay. We take those. Maybe we'll be able to set up some traps. Set up some part of the underdogs. I know this deck pretty well, so. Oh, spellbinding circle. Oh, that's really gonna. Really gonna become a pain in the ass. Um. Well, we're gonna start off definitely by setting up a heart of the underdog. And. We'll drop our winged dragon guardian of the fortress in attack position. And set the spellbinding circle face down. And end our turn. I think if I just hmm, huh. so I hold, I held the backspace so I didn't have to chain, but things happened a little bit too fast. But I won't activate my my skill or my not my skill. This is not speed duels. <coughs> We're gonna go ahead and get rid of our Torike by just setting him face down. And with that, we'll go ahead and pass our turn. So he's gonna go ahead and drop another Battle Ox. I will go ahead and Spellbinding Circle this new monster. Okay, that's fine. You can give yourself life points. We'll make won't make any difference. You know we're going for that Exodia win. Monster Reborn, hey? Hmm. Oh yo, when I drew Horned Imp, I didn't activate Heart of the Underdog because I had my backspace being held for Spellbinding Circle. I just realized that. That's 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 pretty brutal. Okay. Well let's go ahead and set Mammoth Graveyard. And I guess we'll end our turn with that. And he's going to drop an Aqua Medor, which we can actually run over. And we're going to have to take that 1200 direct damage. Man, why does Grandpa's deck suck? We'll definitely go ahead and activate a Heart of the Underdog here. Show him our Feral Imp and draw. Ooh, damn! We're going to go ahead and drop Big Boy Pot of Greed. Ooh, damn! We're gonna go ahead and set our little Sangam boy. Hmm. Actually, how big were you? I know you're only a thousand. Um. Now we're gonna actually go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and drop our monster reborn. We're gonna bring back our winged dragon, guardian of the fortress number one, into attack position. And we are going to go ahead and run over his Aquamador. Deal f a fat 200 points of damage to Kaiba. And end our turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Um, we might not even go in for that Exodia win here. Um, is it draw three, discard two? Yeah, so I can skip both of these, but... I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and snatch teal this boy's blue eyes. You know I want that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop our graceful charity... We're going to go ahead and... We don't need a dark hole. And we don't need... A horned imp. We're going to go ahead and now drop our feral imp. We're going to go ahead and throw Sangan into attack mode. And we're about to... Deal some hefty damage to our boy Kaiba. 
put to get another I like all these achievements popping up. Put to get another Blue Eyes animation Oh no, is it only if he attacks a monster? Well that's pretty gay. Um we're gonna go ahead and hop into main phase two now and just make sure that you can't do anything to stop my rampage. And I think we just game Kaiba. We're not we're not even following the anime. We, who needs Exodia? Honestly? Who who needs Exodia? We have what? Yo, why is this actually the most epic version of this duel I've ever had? Yo. Yo. We're going to go straight to battle phase. And I'm going to I'm just going to crash. We're about to go blue eyes for blue eyes. And then I'll swing my feral imp to his defense position monster. I'm not big enough, and wall of illusion is going to bounce that back to my hand. So in that case, what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and throw myself into main phase two. I'm going to put sand in defense, and I'm going to go ahead and set feral imp. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and drop another heart of the underdog. And I think that will be good. Wow. This is actually a good duel. Huh. But we we have taken down two of his three blue eyes, which is really solid. Ooh, and now we're top deck in Raigekis. We can save that for a blue eyes. I say we just save it for a blue eyes and we just pass turn right here. Is Zangan only destroyed by battle when he gets a search? No, it should be sent from the field to the graveyard. Our swords revealing light runs out, but we have three copies of Heart of the Underdog. Sadly, Spellbinding Circle is just stuck there because he tributed his damn monster. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pass turn. He's gonna go ahead and get our sand, get a search for us from Sangan. Damn, that's a scary field though. Sangan's effect's gonna go off. We're gonna go ahead and grab our Exodia, the Forbidden One. <coughs> then he's going to go ahead and pop our Feral Imp. We do draw into Kariba, which is nice. We're actually going to go ahead and board wipe this man. And from that, we're going to go ahead and pass turn. We have Kariba to stop us from taking any damage next turn. But maybe we might need to go for that Exodia win after all. Ah, no, but Kaiba's playing on the defense here. Interesting. And we go ahead and activate all three Heart of the Underdog off of our one Rude Kaiser to get three more cards. One, two, three. And we our last card's a normal, so we get to go ahead and pop... <laughs> Look how big her fucking hand is. One, two, and it was the last card in our deck. Exodia, the Forbidden One. Okay, that was kind of a hype duel. You play only for power, Kaiba, and that is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there is nothing you can't do. The result of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yugi's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. And there we go. That has been our very first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Honestly, that was definitely my most fun run yet. That was super, super hype. Ah, I cannot believe 
how actually interesting the duel was. That was fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. The Ultimate Great Moth is our next target as we head on to Duelist Kingdom. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, leave a like down below and also subscribe if you're enjoying my content. Remember, this will be every single Tuesday. This will be uploaded, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And have a great day. Peace out.